was terrifying. It was, it was shock. I, I mean, immediately, I think I went into shock. My whole body went cold. Kim Roberts shudders as she remembers the day her young son Jacob was run over by a lawnmower. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Jacob oh, became one of the more than 4,000 patients who passed through ORMC's Level 1 Trauma Center each year. One of his biggest obstacles right after it happened was the need for blood. Um, he lost a lot of blood in the accident. It's not uncommon for us to go through 50 or 60 units of blood in a day in some of our sicker patients. So having that O negative blood available in a moment's notice is very important to us. Dr. John Promise is ORMC's trauma medical director. He says they keep eight units of O negative blood in the trauma bay at all times, and they typically order more units depending on the severity of injuries. Families often will ask us, uh, can I help donate blood for my, my husband, my son, my daughter? And we always tell them it's not quite the time to do that for the particular patient, but we always welcome donations for the next patient that rolls through the door. Someone has been kind enough to donate blood so that we can save someone's life and have that available at a moment's notice. The donors that donated before he even had the accident, um, clearly those are the ones who saved his life. People who didn't know about Jacob, people who didn't know that this was going to happen to him, they're the ones that were able to save his life because they just did what they normally do. They saw the big red bus or they saw um, and an ad somewhere or they just have a, a routine that they donate blood whenever they can. And obviously we have to be ready 24 hours a day and that includes having the blood available 24 hours a day. No one plans to be in a bad car crash next Friday at, at noon, but we're ready 24 hours a day. One Blood makes sure that the blood is available for trauma centers and the blood used in emergency situations was often given by a donor four to five days in advance. I'm Nancy Gay reporting.